Hey guys, my name is Michael. Uh, we're back here to show you one of our uh, other prototypes we made for picking up stones and placing them. So we're going to go ahead and demonstrate that. So that's basically the basic uh, maneuvering of how we are picking up blocks with this mechanism here. Um, everything is placed on the back of here. We made this with uh, 16th inch aluminum uh, and then bent it into shape. So we're going to go ahead and do another one. We designed this. We designed this to be able to not only pick up and make stacks, but also be able to stack um, multiple stacks next to each other uh, within the long dimension. So we'll demonstrate that here. There we go. So it's really nice and easy to do that. We found that there's enough leeway here that if you have a good amount of space here, you can still drop um, the stones on top of each other and make it a really nice stack. Um, a lot of the considerations that went into this, um, looking at the back here, it's really heavy back here. Uh, we would have liked to make it lighter and so it would be easier to put onto the robot. In the future, we would uh, change out this motor for a VEX, uh, what is it? 393. A VEX 393 motor. Um, we feel that would be better uh, for this purpose because it'd be a bit lighter and uh, more maneuverable. Uh, oh, and it won't count towards the motor total. All right. Uh, also, we initially had four wheels on here, um, thinking that the bottom ones would help lift it up. But since this slip is only uh, going around the stone once we uh, make contact with the top wheels, they were kind of useless, so we took them off. Um, and the nice flat area made it a lot easier for running up, lining up, and then picking up stones pretty quickly. Um, we're using these two inch uh, self wheels here, but we'd prefer to be using uh, three inch compression wheels um, due to the fact that some of these stones are a bit odd, oddly shaped. Um, when you do get your parts and you take a close look, you'll see that um, some of these sort of cave in on the walls. So we noticed that when we first used, uh, picking these up and making our dimensions, uh, we would get them in coming in at different angles. Um, so we had to make sure that there was enough compression here. Uh, another thing we would like to change here is make it a bit wider so we could add in maybe some flanges to make it easier for running up and having the stones line up to our mechanism a lot faster. And even adding in some elastic bands on the side so there's always compression on the block um, when it goes up against the wheels. And that would have made it a lot easier to pick up as well. Um, we're doing our best to try and get this on the robot and demonstrate it on there but for now this is just another uh, approach to the competition so we can give you guys some more ideas. Um, initially we also had the motor off to the side using uh, a one-to-one -one gear ratio. This is an Andy Mark, uh, uh, Andy Mark uh, let's see, Never S20 um, and we were just doing one-to-one -one, but then we changed it to the gear and sprocket or to the sprocket and the chain so that we can keep everything together. Right, am I missing anything? I think that's that's all about this. Uh, let, let us know if you have any questions and comments and keep up. Hopefully we can get this on the bot to show you and then also show you what's going on with um, the bot that we have coming together. Thanks for watching.